I would say Little Big Planet is one of the hardest games to categorise in the world. You've got a comprehensive, what you call a platform game, which you can play with up to four players, which is great, loads of fun. But uniquely, that platform game is made with a tool set that we supply with the game. So it's a game making tool. And the adventure that we give you is just an example of the kind of things that you can yourself make. The big feature of Little Big Planet is that you choose how you want to play that game. You know, there are lots of games where it's very rigid, you know, if you play a sports game, you're playing football, you've got to play football. The great thing about Little Big Planet, as far as I'm concerned, is that really you get to choose what you want to do. From a creative perspective, it's not just a passive experience, so you're not just uh, being entertained by what we've made. The whole time our job is to inspire you to get into creative mode and start making your own stuff. So we've really gone out of our way to make the adventure as thrilling as possible and to real showcase all the tools that we've added and all the tools that exist. The live streaming feature of PS4 is going to be a really big deal for Little Big Planet, and the reason I think that is that it is the best way to teach someone to create you can possibly have. If you've got a good creator who's just sat in create mode, put the live stream up on Twitch, and is sitting there building something and talking you through how you can make that thing, that's going to encourage so many more creators. And it gives us a great opportunity for teaching people how we made this game. And again, it's just another great way of hopefully getting more people into the create mode by seeing actually how doable this is, you know, how easy this can be. PS4 has done some wonders as far as the, uh, the graphics department goes for us on the game. 1080p, all of the textures have been up uh, they look fantastic. We've got new lighting, new materials, new effects, snow, dust, fog. We've linked in to the PlayStation 4 video suite and allowed you to create trailers for your content and push that up onto lwp.me. So when people are browsing the community screen, they're not just going to be seeing the level badge and the description anymore. There'll be a 30 second trailer, there'll be photos, you know, it's going to look like a professionally made thing. And that's, uh, that's a game changer for me. I think that makes, that makes all of that stuff feel much more professional. It's great. We've made the game a lot deeper. The original game was essentially jumping up and down and you had a playable depth of about three layers. We've expanded that to 16. It allows designers, developers, creators, the ability to make entirely new elements of gameplay, popping back and forth and through the screen. From an artistic side, they can build their own backgrounds now and drop them in there where they weren't able to do that in the past. In Little Big Planet 3, we've put quite a lot of focus on who you're playing and how you're playing, and not so much on, you know, we already have all those great level tools and they already still work. Rather than just playing as Sackboy, you can have three new playable characters to go with Sackboy, which opens up a whole new style of gameplay that coexists with Sackboy in Craftworld. So we came up with Toggle, Oddsock and Swoop, and we felt that releasing this to our hugely talented community would mean you're gonna start seeing a whole new style of content coming out. We have a bunch of stuff which allows you to change the way that Sackboy works so that you can make him run faster or make him swim or change his animation style. You can then do that to the new playable characters as well and make your own game. We've opened the doors up to our advanced users uh, to give them more control over elements of game making that they never had before. They can now control a lot of the animations on their characters. So they have a new arsenal of characters they can drop into their levels, build all sorts of different gameplay. Probably the coolest thing so far in Little Big Planet 3 is the top down platformer level. It uses pretty much every one of the new Little Big Planet tools, which is what's cool about it for me. You just look at it and you go, wow. It's quite a technical achievement. Uh, something never would have been able to have been done in any of the previous games. Backwards compatibility has always kind of been priority number one. Everything from the very beginning of the Little Big Planet franchise is still there. So we have this enormous world of creations that is always relevant. I think we've got pretty much 100 new tools in this game. Not only do you have the 8 million levels that have already been made, but you're going to have a whole new type of level which has never been doable before because of the power that we've added to the Create feature. 
I hope that people at home find Little Big Planet 3 open enough that they can play it however they like. I think what's great for anybody playing Little Big Planet is that they get a great high quality game on disc that we've made and then they'll get years of new content coming in day by day, week by week, of really high quality levels made by the community. It's really fun to play through the game, to collect the prizes, to collect all the stickers and the decorations and those things. Take them back to the editor and see what you can make with them because you know, no two creations are, are ever the same and there's been millions and millions of them and I, I know we've had millions of people that have felt that way about, about the game and about being able to create and just make their own things. Thank you.